well. Karibu back to Y254 TV. Thank you for still keeping us company here at Y in the morning. This being on Wednesday where we get to do Woman Crush Wednesday, that is WCW and Strength of a Woman. And particularly on this uh, segment of Strength of a Woman, we are tailoring our conversations to suit both men and women because, of course, we know empowerment of women has been done. But we also need to consider that these conversations also need to have men inclusive in them. So today we are shifting gears a bit. We want to talk about online, sexual, uh, uh, online sex exploration and social media influence on the young people. When was the last time you took a break on social media? When was the last time you just put your phone aside and said, mm, I, I, I just need to take a break from social media? When was the last time you posted something on your social media? And do you know the mental implication, that is the mental health implications on your usage of, on, of social media? That is con the conversation we are going to be having right now with Juliet Gikunda, who is a child psychologist and counselor. Karibu sana, Juliet. Thank you so much. Do you have a social media account? Let's just start from there. <laughs> before oh my we goodness. Talk about that. Yes. <laughs> How often do you use social media? At first, it's, I used to be an addict. Because, of course, as a teenager, you're growing up, so many things are happening, and you want to post a picture now and then. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you don't get so many likes, you used to feel, mm, <laughs> well, not what's not happening. Yeah. But later on, as times grow up, I don't know how many times do I check, unless I'm just viewing something. I have a Facebook account, I have a YouTube account, I have... I don't have an Instagram account. You God do is not good. Have an Instagram account? No. Oh my goodness. I don't know. One time I signed up and then I checked everything that's going up. And the next time I just felt no. Uh, I don't feel to be here. Uh, do you know research says that Instagram is the most used application by young people? I agree. Followed by TikTok. TikTok. Yes. Yeah. Because I was I was reading the statistics and, and I was like, people use Instagram this much. There was a time personally. I'm not big on Instagram. I, I just peruse through to see, oh, okay. But now, there was a time I would stay for two weeks without opening Instagram. Mm -hmm. But then again, I think with time, I don't post, I, I don't post a lot. But you'll, I, I you really just post, go but through. But I, I just go through to see, do I have a TikTok account? I don't know. I, I think I do, but I don't, what I want to do. You don't to, use it. Yes, often. so what yes. I do, I just go through conversations mm -hmm. so let me let me let me let me let me let me give you a statistic mm -hmm. here that that will actually be i don't know if i should call it interesting amusing because that's the conversation we are talking about mm -hmm. we, so that we it sets the pace for this conversation where yeah. is it um hmm. there was uh there was statistics i was preview this morning to see mm -hmm. the average user yeah here i have it the average user of, of social media spends at least one hour 22 minutes a day one hour 22 minutes a yes. day and are those who use the social no media this, is the yes. this is the average yeah this is ule mwenye ako tu chini ako tu so if this is the average user mm -hmm. and i spend one hour 22 minutes mm -hmm. on social media mm -hmm. meaning someone who is spending a lot more time how much time are they using on social media we have people who are in social media for 24 hours or 23 hours, depending. You are this, uh, this um, coming jobs that you hear people saying they're doing online research, they're doing online jobs, but literally do you come to know there's legit work and there's some other online jobs that are not legit. Mm -hmm. So this person, 24 hours, they tell you they have to have an internet because there's a TikTok account open. You'll find someone having three machines or three phones. There's TikTok open, there's this open, there's this open, learning at the same time. Their ah. life depend on that. Ooh. And as you talk about statistics, mm -hmm. I was going through a research that was done by United Nations on um, uh, online child exploitation. And they say, as we talk at the moment, 67% of the children from the age of 12 to 17 Alolindi on the social media. 67% of the children in Kenya. 12 to 17 years? 12 to 17 years. Interesting. So that means how many children? One in, or one in 
let's say like three in five children yes are on social media in every family you find even a child we have already started creating account for our children even when they are very young so let me ask you let's just start this conversation from that point here what is online sex sex exploration wow what a good question because I think now things in, uh, in, on involving issues and matters that have already changed, so many things have changed. And uh, before we used to hear perpetrators or victims from the community, lip cases, defilement, but I see as environment, as so many things are changing up, and the one is growing up, our perpetrators also want to change their ways. So if our focus and the technology has focused so much on the technology, mm -hmm. Everything is revolving around technology. Even our abusers and perpetrators focus on the technology. Mm -hmm. So let's say on online sexual exploitation. There's involves whereby you find uh, a perpetrator will have a name of a victim. Let's say this is Julie. Juliet has an account. And let's say, let's use the name of Joseph. Joseph, no Juliet. And because of the community issues that this person doesn't even want to be well known and even this is a stranger that doesn't know well then able to have it's just, just like a grooming you call it a grooming whereby you get you get gift you hook up so you have dates by the time you know what is what something is happening mm -hmm. because it starts from sex testing and so many other things that comes with, you know, the social media and some uh, strangers that are not able to meet. Mm -hmm. But later on, because now you hook up in Instagram, ni meku like, ameni like, you know, send me your photo. Mm -hmm. Some of them become, you become so close that even they start asking for your nude photos. Mm -hmm. In online sexual exploitation, we have, we have also live streaming and this is where it's done in TikTok. Uh, yeah, the other time government was asking about the banning of the TikTok mm -hmm. because you find the children between all the teens and the youth just go TikTok in one of these de crazy days. There's no regulations. And live streaming of sexual online activities happening there. You find a teenager is in form one, in form two, they're exposing their body. That is online sexual exploitation. And some of them become too hard to get out because once the perpetrator is up to you and there are some favors they've been able to give to you, money, gift, dates, you're not able to go off. Because now that is now when blackmailing comes. Mm -hmm. It's either you do what I want or I expose. You find there are so many accounts that will be hacked and so many exposure will be done. It's because you didn't be able to uh, agree on what the other partner or the other perpetrator wanted you to do. What happened there is great. Yeah, true, true. You understand true. enough. That's sexual exploration. Yes. Now, when we talk about social media influence, yeah. I don't want to assume that everyone knows what social media influence is. You know, we use the word, oh, me mini influencer, me mini social media influencer. Especially I have seen a lot of the movies I have been watching. I love watching Afro cinema and I know. I'll, oh yeah, my God. Me. <laughs> yeah, thank you. DJ but Afro. <laughs> I, I love watching Afro cinema, but also God movies. Mm -hmm. And I have seen even directors mm -hmm. of films. Mm -hmm. um, films movies not just um not just uh nollywood mm -hmm. but all around mm -hmm. they are addressing the issue of social media influencing mm -hmm. because it's it's been a big discussion mm -hmm. out here what is social media influence so let's even underline the one the influence there mm -hmm. what does the one influence means it's something that is able to change who you are your perspective or you are living to a different person. You are trying to buy an, an ideology or an idea that is, is not you. Some are good and some are bad, depending on how they positively or negatively affect your life. Mm -hmm. Because you have positive impacts with the social media and we have negative influence with the social media. Mm -hmm. So this is a society whereby we are living like in a competition. If I see Glaze is wearing a very nice clothes and clothes, shoes that I like, I want to be like her. 
I want to maintain a certain class like her. Mm -hmm. But little don't I know that maybe despite my small earning, Grace is earning more even than me. We want to maintain a certain social class because our friends has also changed. Mm -hmm. And everything we see on social media, sometimes we think it's real. And because we want to see a sense of belonging, which this happen when there is lack of an identity from a self person. As in, that this is me and this is my capa capability and capability. Never is the ones. You, you are easily gone. But mm. if you have a self-understanding and self-awareness, who I am, you cannot re your, your character cannot easily be influenced by, your standard cannot mm. be easily influenced by Sami. But because our society and the technology and everything that is driving, we want to feel a sense of belonging somewhere. Mabishto angu anendanga club. Mabishto angu drive. So we are pushed to want to be like them mm -hmm. behind the back lawn. Mm -hmm. But literally do we know, even some of them, we don't even know the source of their income. So it's become a bit crazy for young people. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes, I do. And that the greatest challenge we have even because of us, the young people, and the teenagers. As we are growing up, like, I've been an organization whereby you see an intern and they tell you, I don't want to volunteer. I want a job. As in, nila sasa ni kama mayai chemusha mayai kula. You get it? Yeah. We want things to be microwave generation thank you mm -hmm. but we don't understand that always it's a process for grace to be where grace is there was a process mm -hmm. for Tim to be where he is there was a process for vera syndica to be where she is is a process mm -hmm. and there's a cost of what she is paying mm -hmm. but the questions happen where now it affects us mentally is are we willing to take their cost you know because there's a lot of sacrifice that these people do the, 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 the social media influencers behind the curtains that we don't know. But we want to live like them. But we are not able, when we are not able to meet their needs and have that standard, then our mentors start getting affected. Yeah. So what are some of the implications of social media on, because you deal with children, yeah. teenagers and young people. Yeah. So as a psychologist, what, what are some of the impressions or rather what are some of the implications of social media on the self-expression and self-identity mm. of young people so it has positive and negative mm -hmm. attitude on the same one impacting on their life mm -hmm. dealing with children um in a positive way there's a way technology is able to open up a sharp mind of a child to be able to learn different things because you're able to Let's say for Google has made it easier for so many other things. Mm -hmm. Like you see a child who is one year old with, 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 with cocomeron ca cartoons mm -hmm. ongoing. <laughs> By the time they are going to class one, they are only saying A to Z, one to ten, you see? Mm -hmm. So you wonder you are a child that is below even two years. They have been able to say one to ten and you wonder. But it's because of the coco melons, the social media influence, you know, the cartoons and many other. Mm -hmm. So it has a positive impact. Mm -hmm. There are other skills that technology skills and innovation skills that our young people can learn from the social media. Mm -hmm. We have baking classes, we have fashion designs, we have so many other things that we can learn from the social media. Mm -hmm. And someone is able to gain most of the skills. Mm -hmm. But also we don't forget that also it has a negative scientific effects mm -hmm. mostly for the children when they're so highly exposed right now uh i don't know how our perpetrators or the technology i don't know what i can say but they've come up to different sometimes when you find yourself grace on the social media and um, your phone is on wi-fi so many apps start popping up mm -hmm. and they want you to install and if you're not set you are you are you, um, as in not to install any app your phone, mm -hmm. you find that so many apps are being installed. Mm -hmm. I find it so easy that right now, as your parent, even as a parent, I, I was asking some parents question on Monday. We have this uh, culture. Uh, I found myself I almost got in that culture. We get home, and because we are so tired, Grace, and we don't want the children to disturb us, 
the first thing we do we give them our gadget mm. hello hello and we're like chica and that teenager or your child was staying a certain kitty or close themselves in their bedroom with their phones mm -hmm. and they're on the TikTok mm -hmm. or the social media I was very shocked yesterday to see um, I have a, a young boy is turning too soon mm -hmm. and I gave him my phone and I put the cocoa melon and I went to cook by the time I'm coming back to see what he's doing I found him on TikTok He's not two even two. Old. He's not even two. Okay. He's one. You understand? Mm -hmm. He's one. Almost two years on 20th mm -hmm. January. And I was like, wait a minute. And then I turn back, I clip it, I put it to Cocomelon. Is that crying? Yeah? Yes. Hataki Cocomelon? Hataki Cocomelon. At two years. At two years. I asked, what do you want? He gets the phone. I put all the hubs back and I make a sim wabo. His closet hub to where he sing the TikTok. Anafinya. So he starts scrolling, funny clips and laughing. And I was like, wait a minute. You're barely two years. And you can be able to scroll and find where this happens. And you're comfortably watching it. What next? So, so Oof. Yes. And the talent we have Who and is the to blame. Is <laughs> as, as the talent. Who is to blame? Because I mean, how early is too early to introduce social media to children? That's the conversation we are having now. How all around all the children protection. That they how them. early? Yeah, like no, you people, you're a psychologist, you deal with children. Enlighten us. How how early is too early to introduce social media to children? According to the current research that has been done, actually, and that's why the government was banning the use of social media, open, opening account to children who are below 18 years or 17 years. The minimal age they used to say was 17 years. Because if you see a research that was done even in UK, they say by the time, by 2020, 2022, 1.3 millions of the children in UK have already had the account of the TikTok. So let us ask ourselves the statistic of Kenyans. We are so quick, like by the time my child is born, or your child is born, you're opening an account for them. We have celebrity who have account. It's good for them. But how far is far? Because I tend to ask a question that I asked myself behind the curtains and I was asking some parent. How often do we monitor our children or our teens or our youth? Mm -hmm. We have them at home mm -hmm. that I've done even in Form 4. Mm -hmm. You've already bought them phones. Do we monitor what they watch? Do we monitor when they close their doors and go to those bedrooms? What they do? Do you monitor those accounts? It's so funny that I was talking about the apps. Light like now, as even a child is using as, uh, an account or even watching anything in YouTube, something will click up. Something will click up that is even have sex con content. Mm -hmm. In it. Yeah, and I was so shocked to see that some of them have games. Yeah. It is a game, but it's a sex game. Mm -hmm. You see, like, it's, it's not a candy clash. This is a kufkuzana. Yeah, you those see, it's games. yes. Yeah. But this is a sex game. It's even appealing like an app. And I've seen, I've seen a child who is seven years bring it in church. And I was like, what are you doing? Can I see what you're praying? And you see, I ask him, do you know what you're doing? Yes, and says, this man is doing one, two, three to this. A seven-year-old. A seven-year-old. What do we do? If this is where we've gotten to, what do we do? We need to put a limit. The question we ask ourselves, how far is far? What are the damage implications? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the current case. May I saw less to peace. They met in social media. Mm. The Luis Ambo case. Yeah. The Instagram. And you see the perpetrator was very keen 
not to reveal his details. By the time this person demand for some money from the family, is only having a bio data of who is this girl. She's 20 years old, very young, so to go. By the time they are meeting, is only having all the bio data of this family. Where is this bio data found? On the social media. And like, I come to understand why, because my mom is this kind of a mom who says, stop posting whatever you are. Because yes, so we have made it very easy. To be tracked. To be tracked. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, Nico Hapa, um, KBC. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, I'm a team also, I'm doing what and what. Yeah. It's become so easy for us. Every details we leave it on social media. Even child adoption. No, let me ask you a question. What is the need? Um, because I feel like there is an underlying issue. For um, do you think that young people are seeking approval? There is the need for approval. Thank you, and that's why I say the first thing I say: when we lack an identity and a self-awareness, that is now when we are easily influenced by anything that comes up, because something is broken somewhere from the foundation, and to amend it. Uh, we live in a family setup, so I to say this, that we are so busy looking for basic needs, which is okay, the economy is a bit tough for all of us. But also, do we have time for our children? When was the last time, maybe as a mother, you spend with your teenager and find out what are their challenges? We are the longest holiday with the children. Did we sit down with them and find out? Let's talk even about the youth. They are done with school. Let's talk about the high school. Apart from when the time exams were held as a parent, when did the last time did you sit down with them and find out what do you want to do in life? We have even embraced the, um, embraced the dress code of my dress, my choice in that house. How well do you know, as in kunaile picha to meeka, such that you may find your child is dressing well in the house, but behind the curtain, what does they do? What is the culture that we have implied? Because when even we look at the Bible, it says, teach your child the ways of God. And even when they grow up, they will not go astray. And even when they go astray, grace, it reaches a point whereby there is a turning point that comes back. Even as parent, as we are growing these children up to become big people in the society and the youth, what are the ones that you are speaking? Do we speak affirmation once to these children? What are the ones that we speak even to the youths in the, in the church, in the house? Because if this sense of belonging lack, kala kila kila time when I'm oh ni mjinga, hata ujielewi, sijuri toka wapi. And then the society and the influence of the social media find them a sense of belonging. Hapa kwa nyumba kuna monyata kiva na mambi unakapua. Aki post Facebook. Akona comments ngapi? 20. 20 yata ni kidogo. Handle and 50. Mm. Akona over 300 likes. Zina mombi unakapoa. You're beautiful. Your dress ime kukapoa. Mm. Focus yake itaenda wapi? Yeah. Enanzi yake itarundi wapi? Yeah. In the social? Media. Because that is where she feel or you feel appreciated. Una nipata? Mm -hmm. So, Learn if we, we cultivate the culture of even telling them you look good before even the post on the social media, then you don't need any other affirmation. You don't need any other ones. By the time even you're sharing it there, you're able to know that, how do you know I look good? Yeah. You get it. I want you to hold on to that thought yes. as we come back to talk about uh, the effects of social media on mental health. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, I want us to take a very short break. We're coming back with more. Thank you.